the large branches that were uh, taken off of my spirit tree by lightning during the big storm. I'm going to use the bulk of this wood uh, to make my kiva. It will be the supporting branches and the, they're thick enough uh, to be able to do this. Uh, lightning split it in the, pretty much two equal parts so I will have uh, good supports and uh, when I do mine. And I use the smaller branches on the sides for the uh, supports. But I'm uh, going to use one for my spirit stick, a walking stick. I went ahead and cut the length here. Uh, this is what I used, of course, to cut it. Just a small hand saw kind of deal here. And ta -ta. Now, the property what you're looking for when you make one of these, you want a good diameter. Put your hand around like this should meet your knuckle at least okay because you want it to be sturdy supportive and uh, as straight as as you can get it to be but this is the straightest branch on this whole mess of tree <laughs> okay that came down this is the only piece that was straight and it just happened to be perfectly with the diameter and uh, the length okay so now we're looking at the uh my spirit wood staff, I've cleaned it, uh, drew a design, I lightly sanded it to get it down, took the bark off, it's very easy. Um, just to peel, just to cut it with a little bit of knife and to peel it off and then I sand it down. Uh, I'm wood burning in uh, my Asan symbols, okay. Uh, I use this uh, in my wood burner. And uh, I make uh, where the circles are, I just uh, do a dot and uh, have a six-sided deal there, okay? So uh, I lay it out in a pencil first, so I get it all uh, as lined up as I can for the, or the symbols. And then I'm going to use a uh, flat tool here, which I will show you with my wood burner like this uh, chisel point to do the flat lines. Okay, so let's see how this turn out a little bit late. Uh, I'm going to have to, of course, linseed oil this uh, after I'm all done. But uh, this is the wood burning process I am using. And the tool that I use is very simple like this. Cost maybe a $20 or something like that uh, craft store. Okay. Okay, so we're going to just a chisel point it. Nice flat line. Like a so. And turn the tool around. Make it a nice flat line. And uh, I just walk it into the shape I need. And then I uh, rub it in the middle there, make a nice little line. Okay. And turn it. It's not so hard to do. It don't have to be absolutely perfect. Uh, it's a handmade, you know. A spirit wood from my spirit tree. It was in my video. And uh, this is one of the uses I made of the uh, branch that was taken off by a lightning for me. Uh, Gaia provide the wood. I provide the artwork. Okay. And uh, there you get uh, an idea how it looks. Okay, okay, so now I have uh, my staff symbols burnt in. I burnt them a five to a row, okay, and uh, I did uh, three around. But uh, I got uh, the first 15 that I'm on the staff. Now I drew where the line is. I'm going to put a little pattern here and a little pattern down here and uh, I'll show you how I do that here in just a little bit. That gives you an idea. The symbols in is very easy to do. Uh, 
my woodworking this is first wood burning I do so uh, I try my best to keep it simple and uh, that's it all right so there we go okay so here we go this is uh, the design that I've got on it so far I did it with the wood burning the Isani symbols uh, sacred circuitry Come on. All right. Let's talk about the walking stick or the spirit stick, if you will. Uh, when I got back, this was uh, this was left there in the room or my room. This was made by Quay. Uh, I'm gonna explain a little bit about it. The uh, Asani symbols that run across it are the basic set of symbols. The top symbol is uh, a symbol for Nakiel, or uh, also known as Uriel. Um, this, the cap piece, is made from what used to be his uh, medicine bag. And now inside this, you can feel the wood here. And then all of this was the contents of the bag. Uh, inside this is a pine cone, a, uh, some sort of purple crystal that I don't know the name of. Uh, let's see, there's some ash from a campfire, I believe. Um, there's some of his, a lock of his wife's hair, um, or my wife's hair, Nancy. Uh, I, some of my hair, a feather from my uh, parrot named Buddy. Um, some hair from my dog named Dozer and some hair from my cat named Jinxie and I think what it was is basically just linking him to uh, those that were very near and dear and close to his heart uh, as well his two necklaces were what were used to secure it to uh, to the shaft and I'll go ahead and show you those What, what they were. This symbol, as I understand it, is a symbol for the portal or the quantum leap, the arrow pointing up from lower density to higher density. The uh, arrow pointing down being the agreement uh, that he had with me to come from there to here uh, there's the mountains some birds and things like that that are uh, that are burned into this but that would be uh, that symbol uh, I watched his video on when he made this of that he never seemed to finish uh, or showed this in a video, so I'm showing it to you now. Uh, the dark color here is by is made by linseed oil, and uh, this has got a, like a thin coat of it, but a very very thin coat. And this is a very very thick coat, and it also feels like it has some kind of uh, some kind of wax or uh, some kind of protective coating that's uh, that's on all of this. So again, uh, this is the finished product that was left in the room, uh, in the bedroom. And uh, 
for those of you who wondered how it turned out, this is it. So, uh, Namaste and uh, I love you all. Take care.